So in order to do the quantitative analysis in general, first you choose your dependent variable. Then you identify the independent variable that, that, you, that you want that's going to drive the dependent variable. Usually the dependent variable is some cost category. Then you collect a series of data points from the past because you're using the past to predict the future. You plot the data. And then you do your math. And then you decide whether it makes sense. So here's some data points. 12 different data, you know, 12 months in the year. The independent variable, the driver, is machine hours. And the dependent variable, the cost that you're looking for, is your indirect labor costs. So you're trying to determine what your indirect labor costs should be based upon machine hours. OK? And you have 12 months. What do you say about this? It doesn't exactly fit to a line. You'd never expect data to be perfect. The only data that's ever perfect is kind of physical data related to physics, the physical laws of nature. Um, does it appear to have some kind of a trend line that you might be able to develop? Yes. Yes. It's not purely random. So the high-low method. Let's take the lowest cost and the highest cost and draw the line. Getting back to the picture, though, there's nothing to say this wouldn't have gone below zero, right? If, um, if 8 was down here, your line is going to be pretty ridiculous. But that just tells you this is outside the relevant range, and we only care about it in this range anyway. We would not be able to extrapolate. So you don't want it to be a negative fixed cost. But you might, you know, within the relevant range, to interpolate, you could still use that data even if 8 was all the way down there. But it would give you an odd result. So the high-low method just says take the highest data point and your lowest data point and find the equation of the line in between. How many of you think you could do that? I'm going to ask the same question in 15 minutes. <laughs> 